All right, so yesterday I told you about a dozen. Remember if I would say I want a dozen of donuts? Donuts? donuts. How much is a dozen, Faith? 12. 12, a dozen is a total of 12. I know, I know. How much would a half a dozen be, Dennis? Six. Six would be a half a dozen, good. So anytime we say a dozen of something, that means a total of 12. And when we say a half a dozen, that's half of a dozen. So that would be six. All right, good. Let's count the nickels. Anybody wants to count these nickels for us? Okay, go ahead, Carson. Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Good. How much money? 45. Cents, 45 cents, awesome. Okay, next amount, anyone wanna count this one? Okay. Um, five, 10, 15, 20. How much? 20 cents. 20 cents, good. Okay, so that's just the practice of counting our nickels. A nickel is worth how much? Five, five. Six. So we count five. five. All right, so let's go ahead and look at your book. So this week we're learning two different kinds of facts. We're learning 10 plus a number, which we kind of already done that. That shouldn't be too hard, but we're also moving on to adding nine. Okay, so let's look at your book. We'll start on this side here. Okay, right here. We'll be on this side first. All right, so let's start with the first one. Six plus 10. I know it. I know. That should be easy because that's 10 more than a number. So tell me, what's my answer? 16. 16. Six I plus 10 should be 16. I wasn't up to 20. Next one. Oh, I know 13. Really? Next, we have three plus 10. Tell me, what should three plus 10 be? 13. 13. 13. It's 10 more. Oh, so you don't have to raise all No, that's what I'm saying. Just let's go over them. <laughs> Next, we have five plus 10. That will be 15. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. 17. Next, 7 17. plus 10, 17. 17. I'm going to put that in. Okay, I'm going to put number four. I'm going to put this one. This one. Oh, I want to see this one. Next one, 4 plus 10. 14. 14. 14. 41. Is that 41? No. no. 14. I thought it was 41. Yeah. Well, I can't know that one before. Oh, it's the same answer. Double. I Next know. one. 13. 10 plus 3, 13. That's the same thing as 3 plus 10, but it's yeah. just switched around. Um, China. China. Next, we have 10 plus 5. 15. 15. 17. 10 plus 7? 17. 17. Next, we have 10 plus 4? 14. 14. Our last one, we have 10 16. plus 6? 16. All right, fill in any ones that you're missing before we move to the other side. Well, actually, we will. So on this side, now we've got this side covered. Dennis and I, y'all have all of these, yeah? Okay, so now I want you to do the same ones, only these, not the plus nine, only the tens. It should be the same thing. Go fill those in right now. So I'll give you a minute to fill in the tens right here, not the nines. Don't do the nines, only do the tens. Go ahead. They're the same as the ones we just did.
Okay, okay, okay. Hello, I'm done. Okay. Hello, I'm Okay, just give me a thumbs up when you're done so I can know when to move on to the nines. Okay, we got it? All right, so now we are going to learn our new facts, which are plus nine. Now, the plus nine facts, why they have them with the tens facts is because whenever you're adding, so if you do 10 plus four, we know that will be 14. If we did nine plus four, it will be one less than 14, which would be 13. So that's just a way they kind of have it set up in the book to help you remember, but we'll just go through it together, okay? So let's start with our first one. So I'm gonna do them up here first, then we'll fill them in on the book, in the book, okay? So I'll do them on the board first. So we have one plus nine. I think everyone knows what one plus nine is. That will be 10. Let's see the twin of one plus nine. Nine plus one. Nine plus one will be the twin. Good, y'all equals 10. Next I have two plus nine. Anybody has an answer for me? We've learned this one already. Two plus nine is? Eleven. Eleven. What's the twin of two nine. plus nine? Eleven. Okay, next we have three plus nine. This one we also already learned. It is? Twelve. Twelve. What's the twin? Nine. Three equals twelve. All right, this is where we start learning new ones. So, if ten plus four is fourteen, what would be four plus nine? That's one less. 10 plus, four plus 10 is 14. So four plus nine is one less. 13. 13. So four plus nine is 13. Twin fact is nine plus four equals 13. Good. We're not filling it in yet. I'm just doing them on the board first. Next, I'll have five plus nine. So if five plus 10 is 15, what would be five plus nine? That would be one less. Fourteen. 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 Twin fact is nine plus five equals fourteen. Next, we have six plus nine. If six plus ten is sixteen, one less six plus nine would be fifteen. Fifteen. That's a way to kind of figure it out. If you can't remember, do it with ten first and go back one for the nine. And nine plus six is the twin, 15. Mm -hmm. Next, we have seven plus nine. If seven plus 10 is 17, seven plus nine, one less would be? 16. 16. 16. Twin fact is nine plus seven equals 16. Yes. 16. Yes. Next one is? Eight plus nine 17. is 17. We nine know that one already. That was a doubles fact. We know this one. Good. Nine plus nine. That was a doubles fact. We know that. Nine plus nine. No, no twin because it's the same thing. And then 10 plus nine. That's easy. That should be 19. Okay. And the twin will be nine plus 10. So these are the plus nine facts. Let's go over them. So one plus nine equals 10, 10, 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10, 10, 10. 2 plus 9 equals 11, 11, 11. 9 plus 2 equals 11, 11, 11. 3 plus 9 equals 12, 12, 12. 9 plus 3 equals 12, 12, 12. 4 plus 9 equals 13, 13, 13. 9 plus 4 equals 13, 13, 13. 5 plus 9 equals 14, 14, 14. 9 plus 5 equals 14, 14, 14. 6 plus 9 equals 15, 15, 15. 9 plus 6 equals 15, 15, 15. 7 plus 9 equals 16, 16, 16. 9 plus 7 equals 16, 16, 16. 8 plus 9 equals 17, 17, 17. 
9 plus 8 equals 17, 17, 17. 9 plus 9 equals 18, 18, 18. 10 plus 9 equals 19, 19, 19. 9 plus 10 equals 9. Awesome. All right, so go ahead and fill in the 9 side of your facts. 9 side. <laughs> I have them up here. If you can't remember right away, they're up here for you. Oh, it's right there. It's 15. Well, where's three plus nine? I can't find them. I can't find oh, 12. 12. Okay. Say that loud. Here plus nine. Oh, I know. Five plus nine. 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 Can I go nine? Oh, okay, I'll say that. Nine plus seven equals nine plus seven equals sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. And nine plus four equals thirteen, thirteen, sixteen. Nine plus six equals thirteen, thirteen, fifteen. And I know we are not all we. Okay. Nine plus four equals eighteen. Okay, we have those. No, no, not yet. Still getting them. And remember, y'all, it's right here. So I'm done. Okay. I heard Miss Fudin, mm -hmm. are you going to use the rulers today? Uh, no, not today. Oh, 
All right, we're good. Yes, Dennis, you have it. All of them plus nine. All right, good. So that's the page that'll be done for you for Friday. Going over those plus nine facts. Okay, let's move on to writing. You need a little sleep paper. A blank loose leaf paper. Oh, yes, blank loose sleep. Oh, okay. I'm not telling you because y'all should know that right now. It's Wednesday. Instead of just sitting there, maybe get your book out and find it. Okay. All right, so uh, we're writing. I have your sentences up here. Miss Budden. Mm hmm. Oh my God, I lost his paper. Say that again. I, I found my little paper. Okay. Um, let's just be. Come on, his paper just stay this way. Yeah, and that's what I said not to do. I use my front and back before I go to the Yeah. I, I, I did it. Okay. All right. All right, so you have three sentences today, just like we did yesterday. So you'll read them, write them over with the correct pronoun. So you're taking out the part that's underlined, which is the noun part, and you're going to write the sentence over with the pronoun. We practiced this yesterday and on Monday. So I have number one, mom and I baked a cake. We want to take out mom and I. What's the correct pronoun to put in place of mom and I? Number two, Susie caught the ball. We want to take out the ball. It's a thing. What will be the correct pronoun to put in place of the ball? And then we have Henry, Joe, and Tim played soccer. We're going to take out Henry, Joe, and Tim and replace it with the pronoun. So you can do all three of them right now, okay? All three of them. I'll give you about five minutes. Let's go ahead and go over them. Let's start with number one. Mom and I baked a cake. So how should I have written this one over the correct way with a pronoun? Okay, Avaya, mom and I baked a cake. What should I have written? We baked a cake. We baked a cake. So you should have taken out the nouns, mom and I, and put we baked a cake. So everybody did? Mm -hmm. Not, you can't say I, because it's not just you, it's mom and you, so we. Number two, Susie caught the ball. We're going to take out the pronoun, the ball. I'm sorry, the noun, the ball. What will we say, Kenley? Susie caught it. It. Susie caught it. Is that what we have? Yes. Okay, then that means we're prepared for the test. Number three, Henry, Joe, and Tim played soccer. Let's take out Henry, Joe, and Tim. What's my pronoun? They. They played soccer. Awesome. Yes, good job, guys. So that means everyone is ready for the test. Yeah? So we're going to have all A's tomorrow? Yeah! All right. If I don't have A's, then you're going to have to write all your spelling words next week 20 times. No! No way! So I better have all A's tomorrow. All B's. A's. Okay? All right. So that means tomorrow when you're taking your test, take your time. Take your time. It's the same thing like this, okay? All right, cool deal. All right, let's go to phonics. So yeah, I was trying to get y'all off early today. We've been staying on, kind of keeping y'all longer than supposed to. Yeah, I got like three things. Um, yeah, so we're gonna finish chart 11 today and I'm gonna introduce chart 12 to you on today. Chart 11, let's go over chart 11. I 
All right, let's go over chart 11 together. O, o says a, uh, a, uh, a uh, in shovel. A says a, uh, a, uh, a uh, in banana. C says in city. A, U says a, uh, a, uh, a uh, in faucet. A, W says a, uh, a, uh, a uh, in saw. E, A says e, e, e in leaf. E A says e e e in thread. E A says a a a in sorry e e e. I always skip down in thread. E A says a a a in steak. I E says e e e in brownie. E Y says e e e in key. E Y says A A A and obey. P H says in phone. C H says in chorus. O U G H T says ot 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 in thought. A U G H T says ot 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 in cut. G says j j j in giant. DGE says j, 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 and fudge. And that's the two sounds we're learning today on chart 11. G that says j and DGE that says j. Now G is kind of like one of those letters, like when we talked about C, remember C has two different sounds. We know the regular C that says like cat, but then we have C that also says like city. I told you in order for us to know if that C is a special sound, it has to be by an E, I, or Y. Now look at the G. We know G normally says G, like in goat, but this G has a J sound and the G says J. So the same rule applies to this G. If you see the letters E, I, or Y next to the G, the G will say J. So that's how you know if you're using the G that says G or the G that says J. If the G has E, I, or Y by it, it will say J. Okay? So let's look at the first word. I have the G. Look at the G by the E. So we know that G is going to say J. Then we have E, R, R. What's my word? Germ. Like germs. Or germ X. Next one, we have PL, full, and DGE that says J. And DGE always has a sharp vowel before it, okay? Just keep that in mind. Always a sharp vowel. So what would my word be? Pledge. Pledge. Next one, we have that G again by an E. So the G says J. What's my word? J. Page, good. And then the last one, sharp vowel A, A, and look at the D, G, E, J. The word is? My mom's friend named Page. Okay. Then what would this one be? Badge. Badge, okay. So we have G that says J. In order for the G to say J, it has to be by N, E, I, R, Y. And then we have DGE, J, and there's always a sharp vowel before that one. All right, let's practice some blends here. So I have thra, thra. Anybody have a word we can make with thra? Thrash. Thrash. Okay, script, script. Okay, Avaya, script. Script, script. Hers in her hands. Scray, unmute. Scritch. Script. Yeah. Okay, script. Poe. Poe, Dennis Poe. Po, what's a word I can create with blend po? Oh. 
Ah. If they're still thinking, okay. Oh. Poke. I'm saying that in my oh, mind. Pole. Pole. Quay. 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 That's my brother name. Okay. Snuggle. 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 And she. She. Like sheep. Sheep. The animal. Good. So remember, if you didn't notice, every Wednesday I give you the balloons that'll be on the test for the next day. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so dive. Let's give me a rhyme. Give me a rhyme word for dive. Five. Five. What's another one, Dennis? Dive. Five. Chai. Tive. Well, tive does rhyme, but it's not quite a word. Try it again. Tie. Well, v. v. Marvel, what did Samson find in the lion? Oh, dive. A hive? Hive. Dive, five, hive. Next, we have slap. Slap. Clap. Clap. Slap. Clap. Gap. Gap. Jets, jets, bet, bet, jet, bet, cat. It does rhyme, but it's not a word. Cat. No. Cat. Jet, bet, let, let, met, oh, set. Bet. Okay, good, awesome. All right, let's practice some syllables. Remember, whenever we say a word, we clap to count. I mean, to say how many syllables are in the word. So let's go over some words with some syllables. All right, helper. How many syllables are in helper? Two. How many? Two. Two. Helper. Next one. Peaches. Peaches. How many? Sentences. Three. Three. Job. Yeah. One. 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 February. February. Four. Four. Do what the hard one. Oh. Space jam. Space jam. That's two. Space jam. No, that's two separate words. Okay. Space Punctuation. Punctuation. Four. Four. Punctuation. Four. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Super. That's a frontier town, so it's full of snow, full of ice. They don't really travel by car, by anything else because of the snow and the ice. So they usually use dog sleds. So we're introduced to Balto, who's a dog. So he's a lead dog on the dog sled. His driver is Gunner, right? And so in Nome, a problem occurred. Two children got sick. They caught diphthera. And they were really sick, and the doctor had no medicine to help them, and he was worried that the children may die or that the sickness could spread. So what the doctor decides to do is they found medicine in Anchorage, Alaska, which was 800 miles away. So they put it on the train, and they were like, we're just going to wait for it to get here. I don't got mine. But during the time of the train traveling to know what ends up happening, it got stuck. stuck. And the medicine was stuck. 
So we'll pick up today to read to see what the people do. Is this a Mexican pencil? It looks like this Okay, one second. Guys. Um, okay, we're on page 16. Miss Prudence. Miss Prudence. Yes. Um, I'm on a different page. We're on page 16, though. But I read far, so that's good. No, that's good, but we're on 16, so that's where I want to be. Thank you. I don't have my book. Huh? I don't have my book. Oh, I don't know where it is. All right, let's go ahead. So the pr problem has occurred. Let's see what the people come up with because they need help. The people of Nome healed the medicine. Uh, a meeting? A meeting. Everyone was very scared. What are we going to do at the doctor? We have to get that medicine. At last, someone said, what about a dog sled ride? Relay. Relay. When one, when one time T -E -E, look at that e. team mm -hmm. of dog sled get. We went to the sentence above and get. Get. Tied, a new team will be ready to take over. Good. Okay. So the people of Nome get together and they're like, we need to figure out a way to get this medicine because if we don't, it can get really bad. So they decide to have a dog sled relay. They would have teams of dogs ready to take over to help bring the medicine to Nome. So they would have all these dog sleds people with their dog sleds and they would lead the dogs. Okay, so let's keep reading 16. Okay, come on, Kelly, make sure you're on page 16. All right, go ahead. The room buzzed with excitement. That did seem like the quickest way to get the medicine, but the doctor found it will still take about 15 days. That's a long time. Times too long. I'm 18. Maybe, We're at 18 now. Maybe the doctor was right, but there was no other, no other choice. So the mayor spoke over the radio. radio Radio, please help, he said. We need the best drivers and dogs to help save our child. Good. So they decide to do the dog sled relay, and they would have different teams of dogs. Now, the thing is, they wouldn't get it overnight. It would still take about two weeks, 15 days to be, to be exact, for them to get the medicine to know. But they didn't have no other choice, right? So this was the best thing they could do. So the mayor goes on the radio and he issues out a call. He says, please help, please help. We need dog sleds, drivers and their dogs to help save our town. Okay, let's pick up on 19. Anybody would like to do 19? Okay, go ahead, Avaya. Unmute. Oh my God. Oh Gunner heard the mayor, mayor on the radio. Gunner knew he had the best dog team and the best lead dog. Balto would become the, become, come to the rescue. Okay, you can read on, uh, so 
So Balto and Gunner decides that him and Balto would enter the race. Okay, keep reading. Next page, Javier. On January 12, 1925, mm -hmm. the race to known began. 21 dog teams were ready were in the rally. Each team waited at a different stop. So the stops were and oh, Okay, you can stop there. Okay, good. All right, so Gunner and Balto decide to enter into the race. So this is how it would go. There were 21 dog teams that were able to get there. And so if you look at that map on the next page, as you can see the map here, it's showing where each stop is. So you have Anchorage way down here. That's where the medicine is. It was stuck on the train, right? So you'll have the first team that'll start in Anchorage. They'll travel and give the medicine to the next team in Nina, then the next team in Tol Tolavana, the next team in Ruby, the next team in Koyuk, next team in Keltag. And as you can see, each, each point is a stop. So it's 21 teams that will pass on the medicine all the way up until they get to Nome. That was the plan. So each team, they had a relay. Each dog team would pass the medicine, pass the medicine, and pass it. So this is good, right? This sounds like a better plan because the dogs are used to being out in the snow, right? And on their sled. So this should be good. All right, let's look at 22. Next page. You ready? Did you go? No, come on. All right. Wrapped it in four first. The first driver took the medicine from the train. He wrapped it, he drove his dog yes. in first to keep. Make sure you're on the right page and not reading a different page. Then he. Drove his dog as fast he could to the second stop. Mm -hmm. He made his run to good, good in a good time. All right. So the first driver starts. He's the one that will start in Anchorage. He got the medicine from the train and he wrapped it up really good in fur so that it didn't freeze because if the medicine would freeze, it wouldn't be good anymore. So he had to make sure to keep it just the right temperature so that it didn't freeze and that it didn't get too hot, which it probably would not in that weather. Okay, so he's ready as, you know, going. He got his, his, him and his dogs are going. They're trying to make it to the next stop as fast as they could. Okay, 23, Dennis, you want to do 23? But soon the wind began to grow hard. The air grew colder. A blizzard was coming. It was one of the worst storms ever. Still, the race went on. Somehow, each dog team made it to the next stop. Okay. So the wind begins to blow really hard and um, the a blizzard ends up hitting. The blizzard is a snowstorm. So that made it even worse and that slowed them down. But did the dogs give up? No, and like I said, these dogs are used to this and the dogs who usually pull the sled are dogs who were used to being in that type of weather. So maybe for us, it's like, oh, this is too cold. But for these dogs, they are made for this type of weather. So the dogs kept going and somehow they made it to the next stop. So that's one stop down. And now the second re, uh, second dog team will get ready to go to get started with the race. Okay. All right. So this is where we'll stop. So next week, we'll actually finish the book talking about what happens as they continue the sleigh, the, uh, the sleigh, as they continue the relay and how Balto, why he's important for this story, okay? All right, so good. So how do you like the book so far? Good. Good, good. So don't read ahead because it'll mess up the story. Try to stay where we're reading so that you can 
we can read it together, okay? And see what happens. Yeah, and see what happens. It makes it more exciting. And then way. we can watch the movie by then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We Wait, will. We could? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but y'all already did. Miss Luden? Yes? There's a video about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a movie. It's called Balto. Yeah, it's the same name. Yeah, there's a movie. That's what it's called, Balto. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'll already watch All right, let's do language. We'll do science, social studies, quick review, and then we'll be done. Yeah. Language. Dennis? Okay, what is this? Actually, All right, so let's go ahead and start with filling in our definition of a verb. Let's start. Mm-hmm. So start with our first word. Then Carson, you'll do the next one. So let's go ahead. So what is a verb? First word? Yeah, right here. Uh, uh, okay, Carson, what's the next word? Uh, what is it? Verb. verb, so come right, verb. <laughs> verb, okay, a verb. What's next? Is. Is. A. Verb is. Why are you not here? But okay, it. Put it right here. Is a a uh, not a but a. Uh. Okay, next one. A verb is a. Uh, Dennis was the next one. Sorry. A verb is a word. word. Okay, a vibe was the next one. A verb is a word. That, okay. All right, that. Because you went faster than us. And then it's Kendi. A word that does. A verb is a word that does. Next part, Carson, does. What's the next part? And. A verb is a word that does and. Action. Action. That's it. Yeah, she put all of them. Good action. All right, good. So let's go ahead and fill in some verbs. All right. So, Taylor, give me a verb. Play. Okay, Dennis, give me a verb. Action verb. Jump. Avaya, action verb. Unmute. Um, run. Run. Okay. Action verb, send it to us. Swim, okay. Okay, action 
number. Um, I already did my turn. Number three. What? Right. You see one? Mm -hmm. That's mine. Okay. That is walk. Okay, verb. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Oh. 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 definition and uh, some sentences with verbs. That'll be our last verb test. Next week, we're moving on to adjectives. So just be ready for that. Our last week with verbs. Okay. So quickly, I'll go over science and social studies and we'll be done. So in science this week, we're learning about ants. So remember, an ant family is called a colony. So all ants have their colony. You have the worker ants who do most of the work for the colony. One of their main jobs is to get food for all of the ants inside of the colony. The worker ants, they will get food for the babies because adults, their throats are too small. So they can't, they can't eat anything. All they can do is drink. So the worker ants, God gave them two stomachs where they can store the liquids in one stomach to give to the other um. What's called that the other ants name. <laughs> so yes, they give them liquids to give to the other. Well, no, the worker ants give food for everybody. Okay, so um, and yeah, that's all we mainly talked about with ants, how they're hard working. I told you the Bible has a scripture that talks about ants because of how hard they work. Okay. They will. They, they're going to find something. So Trust me, they will. One time I saw on um, a lizard and it woke up my foot. That's what one day I had. I saw a big lizard. I okay. It's not All right. So in social, so, so that was it for science. I told you next week we are going to um, move on to the next part of ants, like more jobs that the worker ants do, because there are a lot of other things that the worker ants do as well. That's not the only thing, um, just getting the food. And so next week we'll go more into more of the stuff that they do, okay? Miss Megan? Yes? Can we watch an ant video? Uh, I can post something. Okay. All right, so, uh, so in social studies, we went to Peru this week, right? We talked about Peru. Oh. Peru is different because Peru is on a different continent, right? We've been in North America where we went to Mexico and Canada, but Peru is in what we call South America. That's where Peru is in South America. And in South America, it's to the South of North America. So Peru, so we talked about how most of the people in Peru are farmers, that's their main job. There are so many different kinds of crops that they grow in Peru. One of the most popular uh, crop they grow is potatoes. I told you they have like over 3,000 different kinds of potatoes. They also grow tomatoes and bananas, coffee beans, cotton. All of these are different things that they grow in Peru. An animal that they really find useful in Peru is a llama, 
They'll use a llama to carry their things, but also they'll use the llama's wool to make beautiful clothing. They'll dye it different colors and they make beautiful clothing with the wool from the, um, from the llama. And so I told you a fun fact about a llama is that they're very stubborn and if they don't wanna move, they'll spit so they don't have to move. So in Peru, you'll find a lot of parrots in the marketplace because a parrot is a common pet for people to have in Peru. A sport they like to play is soccer. The people are called the Peruvian people in Peru. So Peru is a very beautiful country in the continent of South America. Okay, so I'll just show you some pictures here of Peru. Okay, so here, so in Peru, they have a lot of like, remember I told you a lot of people live in mountain villages? That's an example of that. So that's like in the mountains. That's really cool. They don't have no roof if they rain. And this is old, like old establishments. It's not, you know. They don't have a roof if they rain. Yeah, because it's, it's something different. It's like some of the first type of homes. Okay, beautiful mountain. Look how that looks. Pretty, pretty. City, a picture of like how the, some of the city buildings in Peru look. Llama. Okay, look at the river, the water. Beautiful. Wait, I see a person. That's some women. Look at their skirts. They might have made those skirts from the wool of a llama. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm showing the wool. Okay, I guess that's it. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So that was just some pictures of what Peru looks like. Awesome. Uh, I guess we got a few time. I guess I'll show you an ant video. We have Yay! Uh, ant video. Yeah, because it's not facing you. So I'll show you what it looks like whenever they're building their colony because. Most of the time when people see an ant colony, you'll see the top part and you think that's the colony, but that's not. The ant colony is actually deep in the ground. That dirt that you see is all the dirt they dug up to build their colony in the ground. So let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, they do work hard. Not that. Okay. Why do they have an eye on it? So as you can see, they're starting the work. And that's how it is. It's like deep in the ground. Like they'll build like these tunnels and rooms. We'll talk about that next week. How do they do that? It's just amazing. Like, yeah, sometimes. I don't see. Uh -uh, that's the eggs. We'll talk about that next week. Eggs. Like the eggs. Mm -hmm. I knew it. So you see how it's piling up on this side? But that's because, oh, that's all of the digging that they're doing. They'll put it. And that's what I was saying. Like whenever they're digging, 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 we usually just see the top part. But really, their colony is in the ground. It has all these tunnels and rooms, all of that. Yeah, that yeah. It's really oh, cool. so that's why was trying so this to is two it. days of work they're doing. Two days. It's on two days of work. That's why you mm -hmm. to bury um, where are they? I don't see no ants. Yeah, they're in there. They're just really small, but they're in there. I think I saw a pig. <laughs> I, I see ants. And that's all the that's eggs bad. right here. That's the eggs. We'll talk about that next week. That's all the eggs. As you can see, the work, and that's really the workers doing all of this. Wait, that's not the parents and the mm -mm, That's the workers doing all what, of that. What is, what is worker well? thing? Huh? What is worker in? That's our lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I saw her on there. Okay, so, all right.
So let's look at an ant carrying. Remember, they can carry things six times their size. Look at, no, it's actually a, a, like a Cheerio type of cereal, yeah. but it looks way bigger, of course. But look how look how they're working together, pulling that thing. Oh my god! Look at that. What, what is that? What is that? Ah. What is that? That is big. How are they mm -hmm. carrying that? Let's just see how they work together to get a job done. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that? Oh, a muffin. That's, no, that's that same thing with the first picture. How in the world? So, yeah, remember, they can carry things six times their size. Can they carry a baby? Mm -hmm. Can they carry the baby? Can they carry sure. us? Oh, no. They're drinking water. They're one time they're just carrying the baby. That's Ew, jello. That's disgusting. That's jello. Mm -hmm. That's water. Carrying the baby in. That's water. Yeah. Is it jello or water? It's water? All right. So that's, yeah, just two little videos on ants and what they do, how they carry things, and how they build their colors. All right, so that is it for us today, guys. It's good seeing you tomorrow. We have our phonics test, and on Friday we'll meet. Uh, well, we won't meet on Friday. I won't be here on Friday, but um, you will. I'll have a video for your spelling, okay? All right, so y'all have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow for Bible and phonics. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.